We have breaking news out of Ottawa today. Aaron O'Toole, the leader of the Conservative Party of Canada, has been forced out as leader. Conservative Party leader Aaron O'Toole has been forced to resign from his position after losing a leadership vote by his caucus of 73 to 45. O'Toole only needed 50% plus one of the vote to be ousted. Prior to the vote, O'Toole pleaded with caucus saying that he's committed to change and that he will help move up the convention and leadership review date. He said, I am asking for your support colleagues. I am asking you to have the courage to give a chance to our teams, he said. You have been heard. My goal will be to bring us together. This, however, was not persuasive to the demoralized caucus, which has grown tired of O'Toole's flip-flopping on various issues. The news comes just days after 35 MPs signed a letter mandating a leadership review to take place. The minimum number to trigger a review is 20 MPs. Following the publication of this caucus revolt, O'Toole said, There are two roads open to the Conservative Party of Canada. One is the road of Randy Hillier and Derek Sloan. It is angry, negative, and extreme. It is a dead end. One that would see the party of the Confederation become the NDP of the right. The other road is to better reflect the Canada of 2022, O'Toole said on Monday evening. To recognize that conservatism is organic and not static and that a winning message is one of inclusion, optimism, ideas, and hope. There is a report tonight of members of the Conservative Caucus who are unsure of what road to take. They are, it is said, bringing a letter to caucus to trigger a vote on my leadership of the party. Good, I'm not going anywhere, and I'm not turning back. Canada needs us to be united and serious. It is time for reckoning. To settle this in caucus right here, right now, once and for all, anger versus optimism. That is the choice in simple terms, he said. I will accept the results of this vote. The signers of this letter must accept it too. They brought it, they will have to live with it. An interim leader will be selected later tonight as the caucus will rejoin at 7 p.m. To get more on the story, click the link in the description to the Post Millennial.